Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Director, thank you for coming back. Um, yes, sir. You know, you've been called a, an evolutionary. <laughs> I, I, I think we all also appreciate the terrific job that you did candidly as a rehabilitator, uh, which you had to do before you could become an evolutionary. And we're, we're just trying to figure out where the revolutionary phase of this comes in. Uh, but understand that we're, we're, there are criticisms to be leveled and there are a lot of probing questions. And the reason for that is the obvious reason. We've had a terrific intelligence failure. And, and it gets worse as we probe a little deeper uh, and learn more about it. And, we, and to get back to uh, Commissioner Lehman's train coming down the track, uh, we also at this phase want to make sure that when we get there, we don't, have a, we don't create a train wreck, if you will, uh, ourselves. So we need your advice and we, and we need your guidance to the extent that you're comfortable giving it to us. Um, uh, there is a great deal of concern, and I, and I understand from your testimony today that, that you really uh, don't share with us the concern of wearing the hat of DCI and, and running the CIA, and because we wonder with your enthusiasm how you can, can do both. And well, I might, I might structure the CIA a bit differently. I might have a different span of control if I, for example, if you were going to organize the community around these mission centers, I might have a separate deputy to handle that piece. I might create a new structure for me in terms of inside this organization. There are ways to do this in terms of the, the, its reorganization. I could do that without statute, by the way, unless we had a bigger piece. So I'm not, I'm not averse to the idea. I'm saying that there may be structural ways to do this smarter once you Think about what end state you want to achieve is all well, I'm No, saying. I appreciate that clarification because I, I had misunderstood. <clears throat> now, let me throw you into the pool a little more since we're, we're probing for ideas. Um, <clears throat> would it assist you <clears throat> now as DCI and, and <clears throat> in charge, if you will, of the intelligence community, would it assist you if the FBI's domestic intelligence function was separate from its investigative and its law enforcement and prosecutorial function? I don't believe so. And I'll tell you, I'll tell you why. Um, first of all, um, I would say the first thing that's important, and Bob Mueller will talk about this this afternoon. I'm not going to go into the changes and how he thinks about this. We, we've been running operations with the FBI against targets for 30 years. Um, in terms of their tradecraft and how they operate with us and how we jointly recruit people, this is well known, right. well understood between us. Where he's trying to take the organization is, is to put a primacy, <clears throat> particularly in the terrorism arena, put a primacy on the intelligence gathering aspect of it and put the prosecution of it behind. I think you would also argue that the prosecutorial power may actually have a benefit in terms of his ability to recruit someone in terms of an enticement and an enhancement or how you talk to somebody. But I, I think that the, the way to do this is to keep, keep that together and then grow within the FBI a separate kind of officer with a separate kind of training and a separate kind of career path where the intelligence mission is not divorced from the prosecutorial mission, but is something you know, you can, you can grow in quite a different way. I mean, the devil is all in the recruiting, the training, the promotion precepts, and how you reward that individual for the work is really where you're going to make hay here, but I wouldn't separate it. And, and you think that the culture is amenable to that in the FBI? Well, I know the director is amenable to I, it, and I know the director is working on it, and I think if you look at, uh, yes, I think the answer is yes. I think the institution understands that this is absolutely essential. Thank you. Let, let me just ask one other question. Um, in your March testimony, uh, you, uh, you called Al-Qaeda a, a learning organization. And uh, obviously, we know the DOD has got rigorous lessons learned projects on everything that they do, and, and it's, it, it, it improves their performance. I don't sense that the intelligence community has that kind of a lessons learned uh, across the board. Oh, boy. Do you, uh, what, do you, what steps can you take to, to accomplish that? So we, I think we do it a bit differently than the defense structure does. I mean, uh, John, you may want to comment on this since you've been around a while. But 
I think you'll find uh, in the defense structure, uh, as you know, uh, sir, that they have a, a formalized process in the intelligence business because it's so fast moving and so iterative. Uh, I would call our lessons learned process more of an iterative one. We're constantly reevaluating what we do. We're constantly looking at uh, efforts we've had underway and asking ourselves, why did that work? Why didn't this work? Um, so it, it isn't as formalized. It isn't done by panels. Uh, although on occasion we do commission a group uh, within the agency to step back and or look outside. at, as, as for example we are on some of our Iraq work now. We're doing for six months an extensive in-depth look at every single source we used and we are developing lessons from it. In the terrorism arena, because it's been such a fast-paced fight and really a war, I think as Kofor Black made the point yesterday that we've literally been at war on this problem for years, the lessons learned have been incorporated into our daily activity, much the way you do in the middle of a battle, much the way you do on the battlefield. I understand that, but sometimes memories <coughs> shape as, as, as time passes, and that's the reason I, I would urge that you reconsider that. Uh, not to say, I, I wouldn't suggest to you for a moment that, that this is perfect or that there aren't things we could do better on, on this score, but I, I'm just suggesting that we have a different rhythm and pattern uh, than the military on this. Well, great. Thank you. Thank you both very much. Thank you, Mr.